do you like or do you think the idea of somebody who's in intolerable pain and maybe palliative care just isn't good enough anymore? Do you think they should be assisted to die if they wanted to? The problem with assisted suicide, even though we think that it would deal with some really, really difficult situations that certain individuals are in, the problem with is that when you legislate for one, you legislate for everything. And if you're asking me to stay forward even though I'm pro life, if he was in extreme pain and there was no painkillers working and he asked me for the two tablets, and you couldn't reach the two tablets himself, and would I give me a glass of water? Yes, I would. If I don't want, if I'm at that scenario where I have absolutely no quality of life, I am confined to a bed, I end up in a vegetative state, don't keep me alive for the sake of keeping me alive. Once we open the door to euthanasia, <clears throat> and again, I don't want to go back to abortion, but that is the template for where we are. If you look at what's happening in Canada, you know, people are just being effectively bumped off for no reason. Now, if you look at it, go over to Canada and you look and you see how many people are actually dying over there of assisted suicide, it's always the type of people who are honestly old and lonely. Like, I fully support a person who is terminally ill and they're spending their last days, weeks, months in agonizing pain where palliative care can't do anything more from I wholeheartedly support. A society that genuinely has compassion will actually value life and value people and do everything to keep people you know alive for as long as possible